It's a good bet that the phones and social media at Auto World South Bend offices are on full alert these days, thanks to the recently launched Legends of the Quarter Mile series. The way we see it, once folks get done barnstorming the retail outlets for their copies of the first release, this 118th Blue Max Funny Car, suggestions for new models will start arriving in cyber buckets. Hi, I'm Joe Kelly Jr. for Diecast X. Now that production samples of Harry M. Schmidt's famous Mini Mustang flopper are starting to arrive, it's obvious that this new line is going to make fans of 118 scale 70s vintage funnies happy to grab one. When we get back, it's all about how to get your own copy of a new model from a new series and a whole new legend. Auto World's 118 scale Blue Max. Don't go away. Like ready to display model cars? Want to see the best coverage in print, on video, and on the web? Subscribe today to the largest circulation diecast magazine in the industry. Diecast X brings collectors face to face with all the latest collectibles, trends, designers, and manufacturers. From resin to diecast to white metal and more, Diecast X magazine focuses on what collectors want in every scale. Diecast X, the passion, the products, and the personalities. Subscribe today at AirAceStore.com or pick up a copy at your favorite bookstore or newsstand. Straight out of its display box, this lead-off Legends piece is killer, and it replicates the John Butera-built Ed Pink Engine 71 Mustang that Harry Schmidt's team used in match races against the likes of the Chi Town Hustler, Jungle Jim, and the Hawaiian in the years leading to Ray Beatles buying the Blue Max team and really blowing it out and making it famous. Now, the body shell is spot on and painted in a remarkable scale metallic blue with tamped on sponsor and teams signage that's been put under a dead smooth clear coat. Now, from the painted on grill and headlights to the Maltese crosses on its flanks, we couldn't find a mold parting line, a drop of glue, or a flaw in the deco anywhere. Beneath the authentic exterior, the Auto World team added details like the plumbing for the fire bottle and a chromed subframe under the car's nose. You can see these details thanks to the included body up strut, or pull the cable out of the bundled chute and remove the shell entirely thanks to the design of the rear hinge. The chassis under that removable lid is made from smart sectional castings that join to replicate its bent tube construction well, and we're pretty sure that this subset of molds will see a lot of action in coming releases. The black painted metal is accented by chrome for the suspension and steering linkage up front. Now, while the tiller isn't hard linked to the wheels, it does look crisp and flashy. So do the wheels themselves. Straight rolling lightweight halibrands up front and an enormous five-spoke classic chromed rims in back, both mounted with convincing Goodyear rubber. Just ahead of the pumpkin, the driver's station is more than decently turned out with a fabric harness, metal buckles, and a proper set of levers and pedals. Blue Max pilot Richard Tharp would be right at home under here. So would Motorman Ed Pink. Aside from butterflies that look a tad small inside the chrome scoop, the Hemi is cast and painted with a metalized blower, a rubber drive belt, and a set of eight steel injector pipes. A second set of bent metal wires is run to the base of the supercharger's housing, and the unit is mounted between a creditable pair of wired up Hemi heads. Now, more detail comes by way of the fuel lines that run forward to the fuel tank and by the filters just south of the front axle. The overall completeness of the image from the scoop to those wicked uptick headers is top notch. You know, we didn't see piles of photo etched metal here and we didn't see a single bit of turned brass or stainless braid. What we did see is the start of a new series of high bang for the buck model cars we can't wait to put on display. The second release in the series, Roland Leong's Hawaiian, is up next and we have no problem recommending this car or that follow up model very, very highly. Thanks for watching Diecast X TV. Until next time, we'll see you on the shelves. Take care.